Jacob Thomas Ipol Karivatam campus will some sarikuyana tell some obstacles, success will come to you. Soishiro Honda said success is one percent work and the rest is bold removal of obstacles. Entrepreneurship is a journey we call entrepreneurial journey. It's an exploration, it's an expedition, it's an experiment of removal of a series of obstacles. Management, we say, management is decision making, management is problem solving, management is the essence of management is control, some people say. Some people say it is planning, organizing, controlling, all those things. So all this management comes in removal of these obstacles. And the essential quality of entrepreneurship is this boldness. The boldness to undertake an expedition, boldness to explore, boldness to test, try, experiment. In the introduction or the welcome, uh, Dr. Ambarish said about uh, converting a concept or an idea into uh, entrepreneurship uh, or a business plan. When we do that, we do Pestled analysis, isn't it? SWOT analysis, a top analysis, all those analysis we do, uh, whether it will work, uh, what are the information available, you know, uh, the risks available, uh, and how to mitigate those risks. Pestled analysis is political, social, economic, uh, legal, technological, and demographic analysis. In the uh, brochure, it is mentioned, and also in the talk, uh, it was mentioned mostly about uh, business world and also the CSR or the, some of the social businesses. Entrepreneurship is required, in my opinion, more in the political arena. Nowadays, the most important institution of the political arena, which is the political parties, they engage the brightest of management graduates to design their strategy, design their blueprint, and undertake their marketing, uh, undertake uh, the organizing of events and functions, get visibility, and innovation, creativity, and entrepreneurship required in the political arena of each state and each country. And second is the social, because there are a lot of social businesses coming up, and there is a lot of uh, potential and scope for social entrepreneurship. And then comes, in the social comes, of course, uh, there are several, several social, cultural uh, aspects. Economic, of course, in B schools, we all talk about the economic arena and the business plan to make profits or uh, to give more employment to people and you know, grow in size, grow in scope, grow in territory, all those things. Then the legal field. Do we require innovations and entrepreneurship in the legal field? Definitely, yes. We uh, often complain that our legal process is very slow, it is cumbersome, access to uh, legal remedy is very difficult, it is uh, costly. So that is an area where we require entrepreneurship. Then technological field, of course, it is in itself is entrepreneurship and creativity. Then in the field of uh, environment, of course, environmental businesses are coming today. You have uh, discussions on the waste management in the environmental businesses, uh, the energy, water, uh, natural resources, common goods, all those things there are uh, businesses now available. So the pastel framework, if you see, there are entrepreneurship or entrepreneurial journey and expedition and exploration and experimentation requirement in each of those domains. And special analysis is not only for the economic businesses or the, uh, the, the usual uh, uh, businesses. Two weeks back, uh, one of the persons whom I am mentoring called me, and, and uh, it was a Sunday, two, uh, two Sundays back, he called me at 11 o'clock and shared his joy. He said he is chosen for uh, Young Entrepreneurship Award. He is shortlisted in the first six in the country. So the people came to him for uh, understanding what is his story, his story. So his story I knew from the very beginning. 